everyone and welcome back to my channel this is mystic moonbeam tarot and today i'm doing a pick a charm on what's in store for you please remember that the messages i give are general and they may or may not resonate with each and every one of you so as always just take what fits and leave the rest i shall put the timestamps down below so in front of you have three piles and three charms the first pile and the first charm is the clock the second pile and the second charm is the poppy. The third pile and the third charm is the fan. So focus on the three piles and pick the pile or the piles you're drawn to. So pile one, the clock charm. Pile two, the poppy charm. Pile three, the fan charm. And I'm going to get started straight away on the collective that choose pile one, the clock charm. So just give me a minute and just put these away. If you hear any background noise, it's just the dog. So I'll apologise in advance. She seems to act up, start drinking, eating and playing about when I'm doing readings. So let's have a look. Pile one. How's that Charles the clock charm? Now, the time on this is quarter past eight. That could mean something. Now, what I'm picking up with the um, the clock charm, that was that chose this pile. You've been patiently waiting for something. You've been waiting for something to come in and the timing hasn't quite been right. This also could be um, divine timing as well. I, I don't like to use that word. I'm not keen on that word, divine timing. But something's going to be happening at the right time for those that chose this pile. So I'm going to lay the cards out and I'm going to see what, this charm is all about what's the, what you've been patient about, what's coming in at the right time for you. So we have card number seven, which is triumph. We have card number one, love begins. Then we have service. Let's move this out of the way. Then we have service. Then we have gift. Then we have the Star Lenormand card. Let's move these over so you can see them. Then we have Gratitude List. Seven of Pentacles. Ten of Cups. And Love Charm. Right, what's in store? For those that chose the clock charm, pile number one. First off, I'm seeing that, especially with the Love Begins, that's the Ace of Cups in normal tarot. I'm seeing that your cup's about to overflow with joy and happiness and positive feelings. Now, for some, this could be regarding new love or a renewed love. Or the opportunity for new love. For others it could be a new idea. A new goal. Or a new creative endeavour. But I feel as if now's the time to open your heart and yourself up to being in a higher vibration to receive this newness. Um, there's also something showing up as well. I'm picking up about a past situation needing to be resolved. And forgiveness for others and yourself. That needs to be dealt with for this newness to come in. So I do feel once this has been achieved and you're open and you're ready to receive, then this new door will be opening up and leading you into this happiness that wants to come in, that is in store for you. Whatever this new beginning is, your soul is pushing you forward, so you need to keep persevering and use your self-control to move forwards. Because I do need to say, your hard work is about to pay off and you're manifesting a triumphant outcome. Especially with the number seven card, the triumph. That's the chariot in the normal tarot. I'm getting strong cancer energy. Um, it's also a time to remain patient and focused as well on the end goal. Because I do feel that balance is going to be brought in for you. But you're needing to grab the reins and move towards what it is you want. Don't go against the flow. 
I do see that those that chose pile number one, the clock charm, you have been through challenges in your life and you've been through life's ups, ups and downs as well. But I do feel that you're going to be ready to move forwards or you, you are ready to move forwards to where it is that you're meant to be. You're also being reminded to count your blessings as well, especially with the gratitude list. I shall read that in a moment. But you need to be counting your blessings at this time and be grateful for what you already have. And don't focus on what you don't have. And stop worrying that you will never have what it is that you want. Because I do feel the universe is about to bless you with a brand new shining future. Especially with the Star Lenormand card coming out. Now, the gratitude list, the card says, Counting your blessings and feeling gratitude for what you already have helps you to be centred in your heart instead of fixated on worries in your mind. What and who are you grateful for right now? Keep focusing upon gratitude and you'll discover the amazing generosity of the universe. And I do feel the universe is going to bring, be bringing you in something new. And your wishes are going to be coming true. Your future does look really bright. You just need to remain patient. You also need to know as well that luck is on your side. And there's something positive that's coming in for those that chose pile number one, the clock charm. I do pick up strongly that someone is attracting a lover, a soulmate or a life partner. I am getting that strongly. This person will want to invest time into you. It'll be someone who's very generous and kind and helpful. This person could also be younger than you or have a young energy about them. They could be very playful or have a playful energy about them. For others, you're going to be receiving some kind of help or you're being blessed by the universe because you help others. Things will be coming into fruition for those that chose this pile. And you need to know that all your hard work and patience will be paying off. Rewards will be coming in on things you've been investing time and effort into. They will be paying off for you. Now, for maybe one person, I'm picking up on someone receiving some kind of inheritance as well. It could be from a family member that's passed over. Or someone that you classed as family. That's maybe for one person. I am picking up on that. Whatever this new beginning is there that you're manifesting, you're going to be very happy about it. And it's going to bring in happiness where you and your family will be secure in the future. Something long term is coming in for this pile. That's going to offer you stability and security. And like like I said at the beginning with the clock charm, you have been patient. And for this, you're going to be rewarded. So just hang on in there. I'm also seeing reunions as well and gatherings. And if this is relating to love, it will it will be long term love. And it will be very secure and offer a lot of stability for you. Marriage is also on the cards as well. So you could be attracting someone into your life that you will spend the rest. They will be your life partner. You will be spending the rest of your life with them. And marriage, it could lead to marriage. Got Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Energy, Strong Cancer, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo and Aquarius. So you could be that sign or it could be this sign coming towards you or you've got them signed strongly in your birth chart. Now the timing of this happening, I'm picking up between spring and winter months so if it's a person coming towards you this person could come towards you in the spring and it could become more secure and stable you could even move in together or start a family in the winter months it will start in spring and the security and the stability may be coming in within the winter months Like I said, some of you could be moving in with this person. You could be starting a family with this person. But overall, what's in store for pile number one, the clock charm? Whatever you've been patiently waiting for, it's coming in. But you need to be open and ready to receive this. For some, it's love, renewed love, life partner, lover. For others, it's it could be something that you're investing your time in there regarding projects, regarding helping people. And you're about to be blessed by the universe. It's really, really positive. 
so I'm going to leave that there and move on to pile number two let's have a look right pile number two let me just clear the energy pile number two that was that Charles the poppy charm I'm getting straight away with this um, what's in store for pile number two piece some kind of piece is being brought into your life there could also be someone someone could have a death anniversary coming up because this is also poppies are also about remembrance but I'm definitely picking up strongly on peace. So let's see if the cards clarify the charm. Let's have a look. We have number three, rejoicing celebration. I'm picking up on positive, happy energy straight away. Just move the camera. Then we have number one, passion ignited. Then we have raise or promotion. I shall read that when I get to the card and let you know what it says. Then we have for the Lenormand card, we have child. We have consolation with the gypsy cards. And cheerfulness. So we've got this card twice. It's the three of cups in the normal tarot. Are positive already and then we have fire the element of fire heralds new life renewed passion and positive transformation and then we have justice and the nine of cups so positive again um what's in store for those that chose Pile number two. Definitely a new beginning. Passion's going to be ignited in your life again. There's definitely a new beginning. For some, there could be celebrations about a child being born or someone finding out they're pregnant. That's not going to be for everyone. But it's going to be for someone that's watching. Um, let me have a look. Like I said, definitely. what's in store for pile number two? There's definitely a new beginning. That's in store for this poll. It could also be new ideas as well, or even a revelation of some kind that's going to make you happy. Whatever this new beginning is, it's going to bring in excitement, either in your personal life or your business life. There's a lot of positive energy on its way to you. It's going to give you a sense of renewed energy, and it's going to leave you feeling on a whole time high. I do feel those that chose this poll. You're going to be receiving something that's going to set, set up a strong foundation for the future. And you need to spread your wings and fly. I do see a time of celebrations. A time of birth. Like I said, there could be a birth of a baby being celebrated or a pregnancy. But it is going to be a time of celebrations. Birth, success. This part, you're going to be getting victory. And you're going to pursue what you're passionate about. I'm getting a lot of excitement with this, Paul. And you're about to accomplish something and celebrate it. It's all good energy. Really positive energy. For some, it could be a raise in money. Or even celebrating being promoted. Especially with raise or promotion. Because it says, congratulations. An increase in your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus. Willingness to take action based on your divine guidance keep up the good work so some of you you're going to be celebrating a pay rise a pay increase a new job a promotion for others it's to do with you could be celebrating your children if it's not about a birth of a child or the someone finding out that they're pregnant you could be celebrating something to do with a, one of your children, if you have children, or a child in the family. Definitely celebrations are showing. And your abundance is being increased. And it is positive. And you will embark on a new life, whether in love or business or money. You're going to be going through a positive transformation with a lot of passion and happiness, especially with the, the element of fire. 
because it's it heralds a new life renewed passion and positive transformation and this is what's in store for you there's definitely get together shows and celebrating with what's to come i'm picking up strongly on money for most of you that have chose this poll or something that you're entitled to and it's going to help you escape your day-to-day -day life and you're going to be very happy about it you're also about to get justice in a situation and if you're dealing with the justice system or legalities or legal legal affairs you need to know it's going to go in your favor that was that charles's poll you've been learning life lessons you could have been going through a lot of karma as well and dealing with a lot of karma in your life and i feel as if these celebrations could also be as well that you're celebrating what you've achieved so far but there's definitely abundance coming in your wishes are going to be coming true and happiness I'm picking up on happiness, joy, fulfilment. You're going to be feeling more optimistic about life and feel satisfied in your life as well when this abundance comes in, this transformation, this change. You're about to be successful and abundance is going to reign on those that chose pile number two. You're about to achieve something or you have achieved something and you're going to get rewarded for it. And this is going to boost your confidence as well. So wish fulfilment is in store with celebrations for those that chose this pile. And you need to pat yourself on, on the back for a job well done. We've got Libra, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Aries, Leo, Sag, Energy. So you could be that sign or have that sign heavily anywhere in your birth chart. Now the timing, <laughs> excuse me, the timing I'm getting for this coming in is spring or summer months march as well something about the month of march peace is definitely coming in for those that chose this poll with prosperity and abundance and something regarding your finances money and money increase it's really really positive so i'm going to leave that there move on to pile number three and i hope that helped I don't know why, but looking at that card, I don't know if someone who chose this pile has been suffering with heartburn or acid reflux. I don't know where that's come from. I needed to say that right. Pile number three, those that chose the fan charm. Now, the fan charm is all about a surprise. So what's in store for pile number three? There's some kind of surprise coming in for you, so let's see if it's good or bad. We have number six, material, material and spiritual prosperity. Number five, financial and material changes. You could have been drawn to pile number two as well. Then we have the Lenormand Anchor. Then we have prosperity, a prosperous business with riches and success. We have fortune. Money, attracting, not chasing. I shall read that out for you in a moment. Then we have the Ace of Pentacles. That's definitely money. The surprise is money and the world. So the surprise with the charm, the cards are clarifying the charm. It's a good surprise. What's in store for those that chose poll number three? It's a really, really good surprise. You could have gone through quite a few challenges as well, especially with the number five. That's that's the five of pentacles in the normal tarot. That's all about loss, um, feeling left out in the cold, rejected, um, poverty stricken, living in poverty, not having enough. It's all about lack. Um, definitely, definitely money coming in. Especially with money and fortune being there, being together in the gypsy cards. Troubles are going to be disappearing for those that chose uh, the fan charm, poll number three. Because, Like I said, I, I do see you've been going through problems or challenges related to your material world or your financial concerns, especially with the number five. 
Some could receive a sudden bonus or a pay rise or even the offer of a new job or promotion. I do feel with this fan charm as well, the surprise, this surprise is going to be coming in out of the blue and it's going to surprise you. You're not expecting it at all. I do feel though after challenges that you've been going through, balance and harmony is being restored. And it's going to be a time of prosperity for you. There does need to be a practice now of giving and receiving. So keep practicing generosity and gratitude so this prosperity can come in. Because we have attracting, not chasing. And it says anything or anyone you chase after will run the other way because of the fears underlying chasing energy. Instead, attract what you need by sending out love, gratitude and welcoming energy. So you could have already been in this stage. You're definitely attracting prosperity, good fortune, money. There is a lot of security coming in for this poll and it's really positive. And it's going to remain settled for you once this comes in. There's great security is coming in regarding money and business and a lot of success with it as well. There's definitely an increase in wealth you're going to receive with success and victory if you've got your own business business will be booming you're, you're attracting fortune prosperity something's going to be happening for you that you will be satisfied about as well you're about to reap your rewards and this is going to allow you to take that first step to making your dreams come true because the anchor card's all about security. It's also about staying put as well. So this increase of money, this prosperity that's coming in for you. It's going to set you up. I need to say it will set you up for life. You're closing out a cycle in your life. That will be bringing in these positive changes. You're about to accomplish something. And this is bringing in a financial new beginning or a financial opportunity. Like I said, it could be a new job, new business, investing in something because of this money coming in. What's in store for this pile is abundance, security, stability, victory, success after going through hardships. I'm picking up on Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio. Aries and Sagittarius energy. So you could be that sign or have that heavily in your birth chart. I feel as if those that chose this poll, you, you have learned a lesson and everything you've been through will be changing for the better. Someone could also be attracting a wealthy partner as well, but I'm mostly picking up on money and a lot of abundance and prosperity. Now the timing I'm getting with this is spring and summer months. You could have gone through hardships in the winter months, the colder months, the winter just gone. Or you could be going through this now. The month of July and August, spring, summer is when this abundance, this money is going to be coming in. And it's really, really positive. You've got a lot to look forward, a lot to look forward to. You've accomplished a lot and you're about to accomplish even more. Someone could also be getting some money um, money coming in as well so you can travel. You've definitely got what's in store for this pile is success, accomplishment, achievement, fulfilment, a sense of belonging and feeling whole. Business will be booming. There's definitely an increase of money, whether it's through the opportunity of a job, gift of money. Definitely a financial increase for those that chose this pile. So I hope that helped and I'm going to leave that there and thank you all for watching.